In this video, I'm going to talk about the top three reasons why you might want to consider becoming a nurse researcher. I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. in case you are new here. I'm a doctor of nursing practice and associate professor in studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nurses, students, nurse educators, and caregivers on how to become more empowered and resilient. All right, let's get started. I'm, I guess, surprised, but then at the same time not surprised that my most popular video is why I left bedside nursing. And I know a lot Lot of nurses right now are considering and really doing some soul searching on the next phase in their nursing career. Some nurses unfortunately are considering leaving the profession altogether given everything that they have been through during the pandemic. And what I want to do is provide some alternatives to keep you in the profession of nursing but to consider where you might want to go moving forward because we need you, we need you in this profession. I wanna keep you here, I, I really, really do. And so let's talk about being, becoming a nurse researcher. You may see that there are positions within the hospital setting for research nurse scientists, especially if universities are partnered with their considered academic research facilities. But increasingly, there's more and more opportunities as well as a need for nurse researchers. Let me tell you the top three reasons about why you should consider this. The first reason is you are either a data person or a relationship driven person, you may really enjoy research. And the reason for that is that there are two types of research. The first type, quantitative research, collects data and interprets that data using numbers. It might be concrete numbers like taking a blood pressure and you get a specific value, a point of data. And then maybe you collect a lot of these as a metric for a medication or some outcome you're trying to measure and you collect that data in the form of numbers and then interpret it with statistical tests. Now you don't have to be a statistician for this to happen. In fact, that's the very reason why, because there are statisticians and in fact, most researchers who conduct research through quantitative methodologies will enlist the help of a statistician at some point, so no need Need to be a statistician. The second type of research, qualitative research, collects data in the form of words and then interprets that data using various methodologies. And so whether you are a person who likes numerical data or a person who enjoys connecting with people and building relationships and drawing out information in that way through interviews, then you may be well suited to become a nurse researcher. And I know the majority of nurses are interested in science and data and also in the relational side of nursing. So it would make sense to involve yourself in research. And the second reason that you may enjoy becoming a nurse researcher is if you are interested in learning more. If you're curious, you're a problem solver, you like to ask questions and find answers to those questions, then you may be well suited to be a nurse researcher. Let me explain. Most of what we do in medicine, in nursing in particular, is based on expert opinions or it's based on the way we've always done things. And there's a movement with evidence-based practice to consider the research more and more. And the reason for that is because there is huge areas of research within healthcare that we could continue exploring further and particularly within research. So let me give you an example. For my master's project, I looked at bowel management for spinal cord injured patients. And I worked as a spinal cord injury nurse for a long time. And I knew the way that we were managing neurogenic bowel. However, once I dove into the research on this subject, I barely found any. And I realized that what we were doing really was based on the way that we'd always done things. And then it was also based on some expert opinions, some guidelines, and there weren't many higher levels of research. And so that area 
was an area that really needed some focused effort and higher level research studies. And there's so many areas within nursing that need that attention that would be well suited for nurses to come in and conduct that research. And remember, you have teams of people that can help you, but we need, we need nurses to conduct more research. And so that is a reason why I think you should go more into the research arena. The third reason you should consider becoming a nurse researcher is if you like to overcome challenges. And I know many nurses love to overcome challenges. That's why you were drawn to this profession. It's difficult and you like to challenge yourself and to achieve higher. And I think that nursing research is a, a nice big challenge to go after because the process involved is to look at problems that need solved, but then also to find funding to fund those research studies. And that's a process that will involve writing grants. So asking for money to fund a particular area of research is a huge challenge within nursing, but it isn't impossible because there is funding available more and more there are pots of money allocated for nurse researchers and an example of this is the daisy foundation who more and more is allocating setting aside funds to apply for grants within nursing particularly for the daisy foundation with diseases of the immune system because that's an area that they care about. Sigma Theta Tau has research grants that are available. There's government funding as well, the National Institute of Health. Um, so there is money available and more and more nurses could solve so many problems by investigating these challenges through research. Why not try? Why not write the grants? This is why I think that you would be well suited to become a researcher. Never forget that nursing is the largest. We make up the largest percentage of the healthcare workforce and yet have the smallest voice historically. And some of this is because we don't break through the barriers as much as we should to ask for what we need. And so it is a, a wonderful challenge, really, to seek after the money that's available that could help us research these areas that don't have enough knowledge behind it. I think that nurses are well suited to become researchers. I, I like to follow these videos of um, should you become a with top three challenges. I won't say top three reasons why you should not. I'll just call it the top three challenges. So the challenges I anticipate in being a nurse researcher, first of all, is uh, that you need to be used to rejection because it's a part of being a researcher. Writing grants, you're, it's a numbers game. So you're gonna have to write a lot of grants and to tweak and modify that writing so that it appeals to the particular organization that you're asking for money from. And that comes with rejection. So you, you may be refused and politely. However, with each rejection opens more doors and Sometimes it's even helpful when you're writing a grant that you might hear from that organization that you're asking for money that you might try this particular avenue or this particular avenue. And just know that it's a numbers game and it's a part of it to have rejection. Same thing goes for when you're finished with your research and you have something to disseminate and you're writing articles for journals that you may suffer a lot of rejection in that process. Uh, journals will tell you this doesn't look like it's for our particular journal. But here's how you can improve. You can always be improving. The third challenge that I anticipate when you are a nurse researcher are sometimes there's ethical challenges that come along with it, especially if you're working with a research department. And these might include that when you're consenting patients, a lot of times it's the nurses who have a lot of success with consenting patients for research studies. 
because they have that relational skill to be able to talk to patients and give them information in a way that makes sense. And sometimes there are competing pressures from those organizations that fund the research studies, the organization where you are completing the research, and the interests of the patient. However, you're always backed by the laws that are in place for protecting human research participants. And so really nurses are very well suited to become researchers, to be principal investigators of research, and it's just gonna take a little bit of trial and error. But I tell you what, those resources are available to you and you just need to try. You just need to ask. The more and more that you become a part of research studies and learn from others, I know that you can do it. So I highly encourage you, if you're considering becoming a nurse researcher, to give it a try. You probably need an advanced degree, like a master's degree, or a consideration for a PhD, or if you're interested in translational research, the doctor of nursing practice, the DNP, is a perfect route as well. If you're interested in applying concepts from research right where you are at the bedside. In addition, the um, CNS, the clinical nurse specialist degree, is also very well suited to applications research. So those are the top reasons why I think you should become a nurse researcher, as well as the top three challenges I anticipate that you might run into. I hope that you're having an amazing day, week, month, and I will see you in the next video.